In this video, we will see how to use the cashier invoicing app for doing transactions of EMI card customers. The CIA app is available in the Play Store for Android phone users and for iPhone users, we have a dedicated link that will be shared with you by our sales team. When you open this app on your Android mobile phone or iPhone, you will be asked to enter your registered mobile number and click on confirm. Here, the dealer needs to enter his Galaxy Portal user ID, password and an OTP that is received by the dealer on the mobile phone. Click on the verify button after this. This is a sign up process and this needs to be done only once. To begin a transaction on the CIA app, first you need to enter the customer's mobile number, the product that the customer is looking for and the brand of the product that the customer wants to purchase. For example, the customer is looking for a mobile phone and the brand could be Oppo, Samsung, Vivo, any particular brand. Click on the proceed button to continue with the transaction. Here, the customer details are visible. The dealer needs to verify the registered mobile number and address of the customer, the available ECS limit, and the card limit. If there is a change in the registered mobile number or address, or the ECS limit is zero, or there is insufficient card balance, then the transaction will not be performed using the CIA app. The dealer needs to connect with the Bajaj executive assigned to his store for performing this transaction. In this screen, select the branch through which your cases are processed. Here, we enter the loan amount, invoice amount, the scheme for the particular product that the customer is purchasing. Once we have entered all these details, click on the proceed button. Once we have entered all the product details, it will be visible to you in the asset cart like it appears on the screen. Please check with the customer if he wishes to continue with this transaction or he wishes to make any change to the scheme or the loan amount. If any change is required, you may click on the delete button given to you on the screen on the right hand corner side. You will have to re-enter the product details, scheme details and the loan amount. If this is final, please click on proceed to continue and the OTP will be triggered to the customer for confirming this transaction. Request the customer to share the OTP that has been received by him on the mobile. Enter that OTP and click on confirm to continue with the transaction. A pop-up message confirming the transaction is visible on the next screen. Click on the OK button to proceed with the transaction. Once we click this OK button, we land on the asset validation page, which is a very important part of this entire process. On the asset validation page, enter the IMEI number or serial number of the product that the customer has purchased. You will receive an OTP on your mobile phone. Please enter that in the OTP section. In case the customer chooses to purchase the cross-sell product CPP, please select the correct option from the drop-down. Once all these details have been entered correctly, click on Validate Asset button. You will see a pop-up message that confirms that the asset has been successfully validated. Click on OK to continue. Click on the Generate DO button at the bottom of this mobile screen. This will trigger an email to your registered email address and you will receive a copy of the DO and the chart slip since the customer has purchased the CPP product. In case the customer does not purchase the CPP product, you will receive only a copy of the DO in your registered email address. Do not forget to take the customer signature on the chart slip in case a chart slip has also been generated. A pop-up message confirming that the DO has been generated and emailed successfully will be visible to you on screen. Click on OK to proceed with the transaction. To continue with the transaction, enter the CS ID that was created at the beginning and click on the submit button. 
Now that we have completed the asset validation and also created the DO, we need to upload the documents and submit them for QC for further processing. Here, we need to upload the customer photo, the invoice copy and the chart slip if applicable. We also need to enter the invoice number and select the invoice date from the drop down. To upload the images, click on the plus sign. You will be allowed to click a photo or upload the image from your phone gallery. Once completed, you will see the images in the boxes just above the submit button. Click on upload first and then click on submit to QC. Please note if you do not click the upload button and directly click the submit to QC, this file will not be processed and will go on hold. To avoid such a situation, it is important that you first click the upload button and then click on submit to QC button. Once you have clicked on submit to QC, this file will be processed and the disbursement will be done in the next 45 minutes. This completes the processing of a transaction using the CIA app on your mobile phone.